Well, hello folks. Working on a video uh, that I shot today out in the yard. It's uh, today's the 27th, so you'll see that video. And uh, I'm gonna punch this one in probably middle of the week or something. But uh, anyway, this is a video that I shot at the Mississippi State Beekeepers Convention. I had a wonderful time there. They had a pretty good turnout, I would say. Um, the vendors were, uh, was a decent vendor hall. The facility was nice. It was a pretty nice um, setup. The hall where they had all the speakers, it was set up really nice. They had a great lineup of speakers. Um, and I had the opportunity to be there with Hillco. Hillco asked, John Hill had asked if I could help them. They were spread thin trying to make some shows and he ended up coming down, but then he had to leave. So he brought his operations manager with him, Rollin. Got to meet Rollin. He'll be on this video as well. Um, he and I and John set it all up, got it going first day, met a lot of folks, met a lot of viewers, so much enjoyed meeting you guys and you guys that are watching you folks. Uh, I appreciate uh, uh, the support and I really enjoyed meeting everybody. Then of course, John, he had to leave. So myself and, and Rollin, we wrapped it up and loaded it out and got everybody loaded up. And I was kind of just playing the gopher and running around and uh, meeting people and having a good time. So anyway, I wanted to, uh, I didn't do a sh an opening, so I shot this opening while I'm out here editing videos. Figured I'd give y'all a little view of uh, the weekend I had. It, uh, it was a Friday and Saturday. I got up there Thursday, helped them set up, and uh, I rolled back out Saturday evening, got on back to the house. So anyway, hope you enjoy the video. Roll it. Brandon, Mississippi. Brandon Municipal Complex, the Mississippi State Beekeepers Convention. Let's take a walk in. Go right here. There's John Hill from Hill Cove. Here in person. That's him. So put all the nice shiny stuff as soon as you come in the door. Once again, helping them out at a conference. Uh, Enjoy the opportunity because I love meeting with beekeepers. And plenty of booze inside and out. We're going to take a quick walk around. A little different in Louisiana as far as the setup. It's all kind of crammed into a hall. Of course, the regulars, Man Lake. We have Dayton outside. We have Earl. Selling the Super DFM. That's what I use monthly. Beeline. We know them from the expo. A great deal on frames. Take a peek inside. What's going on? Seven apiary. And then we're back to Hillco. Hey, we have the normal setup here. Pump. That's a good feeling to get that Island tanks. Speed fill. It's got some uh, wax dip swarm trap. Observation hive. Sounds good. And of course, the line of extractors. Yeah. Super great prices on this stuff. Let's see. Gotta look at the beast. That's the 48 frame. The Max 48, that thing is huge. What's going on? You made it up, huh? I did. 
Ah, everybody said they weren't coming. I just decided to come for one day and see what's going on. Yeah. Good to see you from, from the, we got the Purvis crowd. Oh, hey there. Good morning. <laughs> got to have the Purvis crowd. <laughs> yeah, I was just telling somebody about that meeting. I was going to show them how big this thing is. This thing is, look. That's a huge attraction. Man, when you need it, you need it though. So, yep, happy to be helping, enjoying it already, meeting some people. And, uh, can't wait till it gets in full swing and we get everybody coming back and forth and visiting with us. Uh, always a good time. Always a good time at these meetings. So. Always the most popular item right here. How are you? Uh, Did you buy one, Kip? You've got a, an empty bottle that weighs 26 grams. So you put 26 as your trigger weight. So every time you put that 26 gram bottle on there, it triggers it. And it's, yes. Yep. Yep. And then so it zeroes it out. And then you say, I want, you know, 250 grams or whatever, you know, one pound is. And, and then you set that on there. It triggers it. I believe it's strictly metric right now. Automatic feed. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Uh, not yeah. promising yeah. that 100% yeah. bolts on. Yeah. That's what we're trying to do. Some of them are down. They're going to be really slow. Yeah. 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 Second day of the Mississippi Beekeepers Convention here in Brandon, Mississippi, and it's been a great time. Uh, enjoyed meeting people and talking to people, and of course, just enjoyed talking bees and beekeeping. Um, uh, a lot of commercial beekeepers here uh, that were very interested in a lot of the Hillco items, and really, it's a, it's a pretty mixed group, but uh, I was surprised at the amount of commercial beekeepers are actually interested in um, the speed fill and the bottling tanks um some of the other smaller items but uh definitely were um and wow i'm telling you sold sold a lot of stuff i think there's only a few items left in the trailer and almost everything in here is sold so uh real good for hillco for sure um let's take a look so we're back in here i'm most everything in here has sold uh we set this up because we were out of our 40 inch and it sold within 30 minutes People are liking what they see. It's fitting their operations. This monster sold. It really didn't sell to Sunrise Bee and Honey, but those guys are playing a joke on each other. But yeah, this this monster sold. It is huge. Our the the uh, this 24 frame sold. I think this is the last thing that's left. A couple items in the trailer. The small, a couple of the small extractors left over. The bottlers, of course. Moving in a lot of pumps. Yeah, a couple of bottling tanks left, but the big one sold as soon as we pulled it out of the box. We had room and it sold. All these are gone. The third, the, the clarifier is what I'm really interested in. But it's it's not in the cards right now, but it will be because it's going to require pumping. I'm ready. I'm not ready to start pumping honey with a full time job still. Uh, but there will come a day. What's up, Anthony? Not much. Everything good? Oh yeah. Having a good having a good conference? Yeah. Okay. Just got here. Yeah. No, you were here yesterday too. Yeah, yeah. All right. So yeah. Anyway, real good show for Hillco. Um, a lot of people impressed with the equipment. A lot of people around here haven't even seen Hillco, so it was good for it, for the show wise. Uh, the convention's been pretty nice. I'd say it's a little less on numbers than Louisiana, but definitely as good uh, as far as quality of vendors. Um, definitely quality of speakers. Definitely a great lineup of speakers. So anyway, Roland, tell me. Yeah. Was it a was it a good uh, now? Roland is the operations manager at Hillco. Yes, sir. Yep. You manage operations as an well, operations I try. manager. I try. We've seen some things here. Oh. There might be some cracks in the armor. I might have to inform the boss about. Well, but no, I'm gonna let him slide. What stays in Mississippi? What happens in Mississippi stays in Mississippi. All right, there you go. <laughs> so, how, what do you think? Y'all did pretty good here, huh? It's just really, really cool to see how impressed, especially a lot of commercial guys, more commercial.
great guys were with our products. Um, you know, we were just um, not really sure. We're, we're, we're not really sure about what the commercial guys think of, of some of these products. Maybe these products are too small um, to uh, just not practical, just not practical, you know, for, for their operations. And yet they're coming in here and they're like, man, we've never seen prices like this. We've never seen quality like this. Um, and so yeah, they're just eating it up, and I yeah, mean, yeah, we should have brought two trailers worth of stuff, right, uh, to co to come down here. So no, we're really impressed. Good, good. Yeah, yeah. Right, it's been fun. I enjoy working yeah. with you. Yeah, yeah. I mean, how? Why would you not have fun when we got Mike here? So I mean, it's, it's just been a blast. Keep sucking up. <laughs> So yeah, again, like I showed you, everything is almost sold. I mean, except for some small extractors, a couple bottlers. I mean, there's things being shipped that have been sold that weren't here that we were out of. So it's it's been good. Um, and uh, again, I'm like, I have to echo what he said. It's amazing the people that are interested that I wouldn't have thought would necessarily be interested in some of this small stuff, but uh, they are. And, and, and even if they weren't buying, they were actually very complimentary of the setup. And you know, granted we're at the front door and you we have all the bling as soon as you walk in, but I mean, that's marketing, I guess, and that's just the way it works. They like it, and uh, we enjoyed we enjoyed talking to them about it, so. These Texas beekeepers club. Oh, is that right? Yeah, yeah I'll be there. Mike Ferry, how are you? I'm good, sir. I'm just... Yeah. Yeah, yeah, I just, I just talked to the, the, the other Barry. I'm just coming by. I actually didn't get that video, you know, of you oh, saying hi to you. Well, because it is Man Lake, and I usually kind of avoid them. But no, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah, no, no. But these, we got, we got, we got all kinds of <laughs> vendors uh, kind of meeting around, kind yeah. of discussing the strategy yeah. for the next conference. That's it. Yeah. It's all strategy. Yeah, yeah, okay. Speakers, conferences. Yeah. Yeah. What's our future? Uh -huh. That's right. There's always new, new things going on. New things. Yeah, are there? Okay. <laughs> Time to eat. Got a line for barbecue. We're gonna check it out. Austin? Hello, how are you, uh, Mike? Doing great, sir. Glad to be here. Time to eat. That's right. <laughs> what do we got? We got sweet tea, we got dessert. Yeah, that's what pork looks like. Oh, yeah. A line of food. Everybody's in here, so time to eat and uh, relax for a little bit. Everybody's on information overload right now. So we got Sammy. He's from West Monroe. He's part of Louisiana Beekeepers Association. Everybody knows Sammy. He's giving away the free trees. There he is. Hey Mike, there he is. Southwest Mississippi Beekeepers right there. Got the GoPro going. Oh yeah, I think so. Yeah, it is. I've already missed one recording, not having it going. Are we loading up, loading up plants and trees? A lot of folks lining up for us too. See if we can get a view of Sammy in there. There he is. Come, Sammy. I can't pronounce his regular name. Anything, anything he's got is good for bees. Look at that, the willow. He was giving out figs. Uh, had one of the, not the Bradford pear, but I forget the name of the pear. He had one of those. It's better than the Bradford pear. Don't split. All kinds of good stuff. That's Ty Speed. He's speaking at Purpose next month. We're going to see him. All right, we're going to wait. Go out here to the parking lot. Oh, he's waiting for his stuff. This is my job in the whole thing. I come out here and make sure everybody's got stuff. How are you? I'm good. How are you doing? Doing well, thank you. Yep, he's waiting. This is what I do. I come out here and load up stuff for folks. Somebody's got to do it. It's a that, rough job. And look, the trailer's about empty. Oh, there's all your stuff right at the front. Come on. Yep, and everything else is about gone. You say the front, you really mean the back? Well, it's the front for me. Well, it's come to an end. We're about ready, and look, we've got like next to nothing to pack up. Um, <laughs> most of the bottling tanks are gone. The cappers are gone. Two extractors are sold. Got to basically box up three extractors. So, really good show. Turned out really well. Uh, they sold a hive, and we're getting ready to get rid of most all the Formic Pro. 
to a couple commercial beekeepers and that'll be it. So we'll actually have to wrap up soon because we won't have anything left to sell. So, we're all out there counting the rest of the Formic Pro so we can split it up out there on the truck. And then we're gonna call this meeting a wrap here pretty soon. I have to say it was a, um, a really good convention, I would think. I mean, I don't know what their past conventions were, but I know it seemed to me like it was a really successful convention. They had a star-studded lineup. I just watched Cameron Jack walk out with his daughter and they're on their way home. Um, Dr. Jeff Harris, Sammy was here, Earl, um, goodness, who else? Several others, but it turned out to be a really, really um, star-studded lineup. and. Um, I think all the vendors did well. Again, pretty pretty decent mix of beekeepers, but I read a lot of commercial beekeepers in and was pretty impressed with how they um, how they interacted with Hillco and they they were they were impressed with what they saw. Uh, and these are some of these guys are guys that have been doing it for a lot of years. So anyway, it was it was a good time. So I'm gonna go ahead and sign it off. Gotta get ready to pack up and then I gotta head home. I'm only a couple hours away. So hope you enjoyed this video of the Mississippi Beekeepers Convention and me giving Hillco a hand, giving him a hand and uh, enjoying some time with beekeepers. So I do appreciate everybody watching. It's Barry's Best Honey. I'm Mike and I do bees. Today and this weekend, we did a convention. Y'all have a wonderful week and may God bless you. We'll see y'all later.